Hi friends, welcome to Packet Tracer activity configuring and verifying a small network. In this Packet Tracer, we are going to configure uh, some devices and uh, we will verify the connectivity. Also, we will some show commands uh, with that we will gather the information. Here we can see our topology and first uh, part one we are going to configure devices and to verify connectivity. Uh, apply basic configurations to RTA. Yes, here we can see the RTA device that is a router. Using the following information and the addressing table. Configure RTA. We have to set host name. We have to set banner and line passwords set to Cisco. Encrypted password set to class. IP addressing and descriptions on LAN interfaces and finally we have to save the configuration. Okay, we will come to uh, RTA. Before that uh, we can uh, see the addressing table and also we can see the uh, interface IP address in this addressing table. Uh, so according to this addressing table we have to configure this RTA router. First of all we will come to the router RTA. Uh, we will set the host name and banner okay here we can see the default name is a uh, router uh, so we are going to enable configure terminal here we are going to set the host name as rta and now we will set the banner banner motd so here we are going to set uh, this is a secure system authorized access only right now we will set the uh, line passwords first of all we will come to line console 0 here we are going to set the password as uh, cisco and uh, we have to give login now we will come to uh, line vty uh, we will take all the lines 0 to 15 here we are going to give the password uh, cisco and here we are going to specify login Next we are going to uh, set the uh, LAN interface IP address. Uh, here we can see the IP address from this addressing table. Uh, for the gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 we have to set 10.10.10.1 and for uh, G0 slash 1 we have to set 10.10.20.1. Okay we will come to the configuration now. First of all we will come to the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 and uh, here we are going to set the IP address 10.10.1 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and here we are going to give the description here I am going to give the description as uh, uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 and uh, no shut command now we will go to the next interface uh, that is interface uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 and uh, IP address I am going to use Apparo so that I will get the previous IP address what I given. So here it is a 20.1 I am going to change to 20.1 yes and uh, here I am going to give the description as uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 and the NoShot command. Now I am going to uh, save the configuration, use copy running to startup, yes. Here one thing we forgot uh, that is a encrypted password uh, set to class so that we will uh, set on RTA. Uh, configure terminal, we will give enable secret as class. Once more we will uh, save copy running to startup now we will come to uh, step 2 configure addressing on PC 1 and PC 2 yes here we can see the two entity devices uh, using the addressing table configure IP addressing for uh, PC 1 and PC 2 uh, test connectivity between PC 1 and PC 2 troubleshoot as necessary okay we will uh, set IP address for these two entity devices PC 1 and PC 2 now before going to the configuration, we will check the IP address in the addressing table. Uh, here for the PC1, IP address is 10.10.10.10 .10 .10 .10 and uh, 
prefix length is slash 24 and we can see the default gateway uh, what we set for the uh, IP address of interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 of device RTA yes and PC2 IP address uh, here is 10.10.20.10 .10 .10 .10 and uh, here is submit to mask and default gateway we will set this IP addresses coming to PC1 here we are going to set the IP address that is 10.10.10.10 .10 .10 .10. And uh, the subnet to mask is 255.255.255.0 and also we have to specify the default gateway it's here it's correct now we will go to PC2 uh, it's a 20.10 oops okay we'll edit it right and uh, submit to mask is 255.255.255.0 and i will copy this for the default gateway yes it's 20.1 now i am going to test the connectivity from uh, pc1 to pc2 i am going to use command prompt here i am going to ping to uh, pc2 that is 10.10.20.10 .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 we are getting the replay there is no issue now we will come to uh, step 3 configure sw14 remote management yes here we can see uh, sw1 okay using the addressing table configure the management interface for sw1 configure the default gateway address save the configuration okay here we can see in this addressing table uh, sw1 we have to set ip address for the uh, virtual lan and uh, submit mask here and we have to set the default gateway as 10.10.10.1 .10 .10 now we will go to sw1 okay now we will go to sw2 here we are going to configure terminal we are going to the interface vlan 1 and here we are going to set the ip address that is 10.10.10.2 uh, uh, and the submit mask is 255.255.255.0 and here we are going to give no shut command now we will give the default gateway that is 10.10.10.1 uh, now we will save the configuration copy running to startup yes now we will come to part 2 gather information with the show commands gather information from show interface command output issue each of the following commands and then answer the related questions so these show commands so like show ip interface brief show interfaces show ip interface these commands we are going to give on this router RTA coming to RTA okay password is Cisco enable password is class first of all we are going to give a show IP interface brief yes here we can see the interface IP address the status and protocols yes we can see the IP address what we set okay right now we will go to show interfaces okay here we can see the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 okay hardware address description yes here we can see the description what we given internet address etc etc okay we will come down side also we will see the other interface yes we can see gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 is up we can see the status also uh, description we can see here All right now we will give show ip oops interface okay we will see what is mentioned here we here we can see the interface yeah is up line protocol is up we can see the status we can see the internet address whatever address we set yeah here we can also see the broadcast address okay right 
will come to yes here is another one gigabit ethernet zero slash one is up line protocol is up we can see the status we can see the broadcast address here right now we will go to these questions uh, which commands display the status of the port yes uh, we used three uh, show commands in that all three commands uh, we have seen the status of the port that is show IP interface brief, show interfaces, show IP interface. Uh, which command shows only the IP address, no subnet mask or prefix? Yes, what we given show IP interface brief. Uh, which command displays the description configured on the interface? Yes, we have seen uh, using show interfaces. Uh, which command displays the IP broadcast address? Yes, what we given that is show IP interface. Uh, which command displays the MAC address of the interface? Yes, that also we have seen uh, using show interface. Now we will go to uh, step 2. Gather information from show IP root command output. Issue each of the following commands and then answer the related questions. Show IP root, show IP root connected. Okay, first we will see this uh, show commands use show IP root oh here we can see uh, the connected networks yes and we can also see something L okay this L is nothing but the local connection right now we will give show IP root connected here we can see only connected it is not showing the local connection right now we will come to these questions how many networks are known by the router based on the output of the show ip root command yes here itself we have seen that is uh, two yes okay uh, next question is uh, what does the l at the beginning of the lines within the routing table represent yes uh, that i was talking about that is nothing but the local connection what does the slash 32 prefix listed in the a root table indicate so this is nothing but the host address of the interface now we will go to the last step step 3 uh, gather information after an interface state is changed on RTA shut down the gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 interface and issue the show IP root command how many networks are displayed in the routing table now okay we will shut down this uh, interface uh, G0 slash 0 coming to router we have to go to the interface before that we have to go to configure terminal interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and we are going to give the shutdown command now we will give show ip root and here we can see there will be only one connected network is showing next is attempt to ping pc1 was the ping successful okay we will uh, ping from rta to pc1 here is the ip address of pc1 and uh, coming to rta we are going to ping to this that is 10.10.10.10 .10 .10 .10. okay we will wait for the reply here we can see success rate is zero percent so the ping is uh, not happened from rta to pc1 next we will go to issue the show ip interface brief command what is the status of the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 interface okay we will see that show ip interface brief and here we can see gigabit ethernet to 0 slash 0 uh, here we can see the status it is administratively down yes that means uh, we manually shut down that means administratively down now we are going to reactivate the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 interface issue the show ip root command did the routing table uh, repopulate okay we will verify that We'll go to the interface configure terminal. We'll go to the interface uh, gigabit ethernet zero slash zero, and we'll give the command no shut. 
now uh, we will give uh, show IP root command here show IP root yes now we can see uh, this uh, routing table is uh, repopulated and the last question uh, what can be inferred about the interface status of routes that appear in the routing table yes keep in mind interfaces must be active in order to be listed in the routing table well we configured the packet tracer activity configuring and verifying a small network successfully my dear friends if you have any doubt please comment below also if you like my videos give a thumb don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video information into your gmail bye bye